Scenes from the NSA Civilian Welfare Fund and Fort Meade MWR's Trunk or Treat at the National Cryptologic Museum. Hello and welcome to Mead Week, I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, the Freedom Inn Dining Facility announces new hours, a look at this year's Retiree Appreciation Day, and highlights from the Army-Navy flag football game. These stories and more, but first at the most recent installation town hall, Fort Meade Garrison Command Sergeant Major Andre Welch sat in for Garrison Commander Colonel Michael Sapp. Sergeant Major Welch covered topics including NSA construction, holiday visitors, and the upcoming event calendar. Fort Meade Medic and Kimbrough Commander Colonel James Maker also made an appearance promoting Kimbrough's new digital newsletter. I just want to let everybody know we have started our digital newsletter, Kimbro Cares. So that's coming out on our social media platforms as well as Fort Meade. And this will each month cover topics. This last month was talked about our flu campaign, about our sick call. By the way, sick call is still active Monday through Friday, 0530 to 730. We're asking and this is open to all active duty service members, regardless of the service that you're in. You can watch the town hall in its entirety on our Facebook page. Just click on videos. In other news, the Garrison Headquarters Command Battalion welcomed a new Command Sergeant Major in a recent ceremony at Club Meade. Outgoing Command Sergeant Major Brian Sanders relinquished his responsibilities to new Command Sergeant Major Gary Kreese. The battalion provides a host of services to the entire Fort Meade community, including law enforcement, working dog teams, force protection, and base operations. Elsewhere, the Freedom Inn Dining Facility recently announced new hours. Breakfast is served from 7 to 9 a.m. and lunch from 11.30 to 1. On the weekends, brunch service runs from 9 to 1 and dinner is served daily from 5 to 6.30. A side note, we should have details on the Thanksgiving service on the next Mead Week. Meanwhile, this year's Retiree Appreciation Day marked a return to numbers not seen since before the pandemic, with more than 400 retirees signing in. The Garrison's Director of Human Resources, Wes Smith, warming up the crowd at the event open. Dozens of vendors, guest speakers, and Garrison leadership promoted all the services available for retirees. This year's keynote speaker, Maryland Department of Veterans Affairs Secretary Anthony Woods. We have a, a military that is going to be called upon to do challenging things at some point in the future. Your experience seeing everyone stand up here today makes that very clear that as much as we love to preserve peace, that every once in a while we find ourselves in very tough times. And I'm just thankful for your service, but I'd also call upon you to see what you can do to encourage the next generation of people to serve. If you missed this year's Retiree Appreciation Day, contact the Retiree Services Office at Human Resources and they'll point you in the right direction. And turning to sports, the outcome of this year's Army-Navy flag football game, the 24th in the series, was in doubt until the very end. The game and tailgate, sponsored by longtime partner, the Central Maryland Chamber, opened with Navy scoring on their first drive, a drive that ate up more than seven minutes of the 20-minute half. But it didn't take long for Army to respond. On their very first offensive play, Army went 60 yards for a touchdown to tie it at seven. Navy then went on another time-consuming drive, scoring with less than two minutes to go in the half. But that didn't stop Army from scoring right at the end of the half. Their extra point was no good, and the half ended Navy 14, Army 13. In the second half, both offenses stumbled a bit. However, Army took the lead midway through the half, 19-14. That score would end up being the final after Navy's last play was broken up in the end zone. This was the 24th annual game. Army has dominated in recent years. The victory was their sixth straight and seventh in the last eight. Fantastic job. Great job. Yeah. 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 All right, hey, listen. Hey, why the fight to the end? That was a hell of a game. Best Army yeah. Navy game I've been a part of. Five years Everybody gave low. it 100%. We executed in the second half. We came back. We won just like we were supposed to. And finally this week, if you're watching the show before November 15th, a reminder that the Maryland Department of Labor and MWR's quarterly job fair is Wednesday the 15th from 10 to 2 at Club Mead. As always, there will be a free shuttle running between the Army Reserve Center on 175 and Club Mead. Officials recommend dressing for success, bringing plenty of resumes, and being ready to meet potential employers. For more on the fair and a list of employers attending, go to mead.armymwr.com. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week. We all make more than 35,000 decisions a day. Most are small, but some can be life-changing. When it comes to taking care of yourself, the most important choices can be hard to make. Like having a tough conversation instead of ignoring a buddy's call. Or being there for support, not assuming things will just get better. Make the decision to be there for the veterans in your life, for your community, for yourself. Learn more at BeThereForVeterans.com.